just take it out there and they don't care if they, they harvest anything or not. Obviously, ultimately, you want to harvest an animal with your time out spent in the field. Hunting isn't cheap, it costs a lot of money. So we, are, we have a team of hunters who have so much time accumulated in the outdoors hunting due to doing it for a living via guiding. Um, the amount of knowledge we have to share with you is only attainable through probably a half a lifetime of doing this full time, um, chasing these animals around full time, learning where they go, learning habits, learning how to recognize a mature animal like this one. Um, you know, some guys are, are more motivated by the record book, possibly. Some are more motivated to fill the freezers. And um, myself, uh, I've been, I've been uh, harvesting these animals for probably 35 years. And I get a kick out of finding the oldest, most mature, wise buck I can, such as this guy. I mean, he's past his prime. He's huge. Who knows what he was in his prime? I don't care. But you know what? This buck right here, he eluded predators 24-7 all of his life. I'll bet he was probably nine years old when I harvested him. You imagine the intelligence that, that, that this guy held to, uh, to elude cougars, wolves, bears, humans. I mean, all of his life, day and night. I couldn't imagine the stress of that, but these deer pulling it off. Same as these two guys behind me. And uh, to be able to, to uh, finally acquire the skills to pull off hunting down one of these bucks successfully, it's, it feels really good for me anyways. And you get to, to uh, feed your family with the, with the flesh of these beasts after you harvest them. Going backwards too, eh? Yeah. Oh my god. Is there a split from that bunch on that thing? The thing about climbing black tail deer is they are so elusive. It's almost ridiculous. It's so frustrating, it can be. You can look at it like it's frustration or it's excitement. To me, I there's nothing more exciting for me than than uh, you know uh, learning more skills and putting my skills to test and uh, trying to find these elusive guys like these ones here beside me. These are uh, extremely rare uh, for where I live in coastal British Columbia. These two bucks right here are extremely rare in their size and uh, they uh, survived and became this large because they're, they're very intelligent. They're genetically superior for uh, the area. Uh, bucks like this aren't common. They don't come around every day and they don't come around every year. And uh, the, your average deer around here is probably, uh, I don't even have an example here, but your average deer is much smaller than this. But just knowing that your area holds a buck of this caliber, for me, makes it absolutely exciting. You take a look at these bucks behind me and some of these these bucks that are still running around which 
I've found by uh, locating these sheds and finding them. And now I'm going to put a road map together and I'm going to take everybody along the ride. So I'm going to teach everyone how to do it. I'm going to teach you how to hunt these guys successfully and, con and consistently. You know, I mean, it's great. Lots of people might only find a buck of this caliber once in their life and, uh, and get lucky and harvest it or a buck like this, maybe once. But wouldn't it be fun to be able to pull this off every year, every couple of years? And uh, in the meantime, along the journey, you know, some people are, are might say, oh, well, they're just teaching guys how to trophy hunt. You know, they're just going after the big ones. Well, guess what? If you follow the ride of knowledge that it takes to harvest one of these guys, just imagine how many lesser bucks, younger bucks, that you're going to find along the way. It's a lot. So if, if you want to uh, come and gain the knowledge, it's not just about finding a tape measure happy deer. I'm going to share the knowledge with you on how to find a spot, locate the deer that are in it, learn about the potential for the size of deer that could live in your spot. I'm going to teach you how to, how to find their bedrooms, find out where the does are, where their bedrooms are, where they feed, where they sleep, where they drop the antlers, and how to hunt them. I'm going to teach you about how to locate your spot and make it a good spot and keep it a good spot. I'm going to teach you everything we can. Well, there he is. So, uh, here he is. Very, very nice deer. Big buck. Very nice buck. Heavy, old. shot.